I can't answer nothing about no nothing I don't have no control over. Nothing but positive energy, positive vibes. You hear me? The the internet, the internet is evil, bro. I know how to use that shit as a tool. Some niggas don't know how to use this shit as a tool. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas use this shit as a fool, bro. Ever since I've been on this internet, I've been trying to avoid doing shit that I know. A nigga can't come back from it. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be getting on this internet saying the wrong shit. Disrespectful shit. You know what I'm saying? And you can't come back from it, bro. Apology is cool, but at the same time, the relationship would never be like it was. You know what I'm saying? So you are you have to always be mindful of what you saying out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people be trying to act like certain things, you know, have affected them. But it ain't nothing but a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Man, show love. It ain't nothing but a conversation. Conversation. And I extend my hand out to my family members. Shit, was, if it's an issue, we talk about it. You did. Unless you just full of hate. You know what I'm saying? It's just that simple. Here we go again. Ain't no, ain't no big eye, no little use over me, man. BG better s I am not performing at the S. He's in his wrestling world. You know what I mean? We's in his bitch. You know what I'm saying? Short and short and short and short and a bag. You know what I mean? We all in this bitch. You dig? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? It's only one nigga ain't in this bitch. You know what I mean? He bought that on himself. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Nigga did a bunch of whole shit, he can't take it back. You hear me? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you did. They gotta fault itself for not being here. You hear me? I know there's a lot of people that's gonna be like, oh, well, such and such, and oh, woo, -de -woo, -de -woo. Man, nigga know what he did last summer. You hear me? <laughs> nigga know what he did last summer. You hear me? And I'ma just leave it like that. You did. You nigga, you niggas want that shit to come together because you niggas fucked up out here. Nigga, I ain't fucked up out here, nigga. Nigga, I'm blessed, nigga, and highly favored, nigga, by God, nigga. Y'all got me fucked up, man, to clear the record on that, man. Nigga, I say fuck a hot boy to a nigga. And that come from me before I let a nigga disrespect me, homie. Yay. Nigga, disrespect won't be tolerated, nigga. I don't give a fuck who a nigga is. Ain't no, ain't no big eye, no little use over me, man. BG better sit his motherfucking ass down somewhere, man. That nigga don't run shit around here, not with me. He might run that shit with you niggas, man. He don't run that shit with me, man. He ain't doing nothing but running his motherfucking mouth. For real, dog. Them whack ass raps, man. That shit whack, nigga, and I said that, nigga. All you nigga dick riding around here, man, that shit whack. That's why the nigga gotta play all these motherfucking games. He trying to get some type of motherfucking... Turk has finally spoken, and spoken the truth at that. You see, Essence, you booked Birdman to headline this event, thinking that Birdman was going to get all his former artists to grace your stage and make history, but still book Lil Wayne as a solo act just in case. However, Birdman did not allow Turk to come. Wayne didn't perform with the group. Shit went left. Now the whole hip-hop community is talking about this hot mess. Now, let's get into New Orleans. Let's go all the way into the heart to the core of New Orleans. You see, PG was gone. He watched Pussy come home and hit the game doing shows and tours, making that bag. The average New Orleans mind is like, if Pussy can do this, I can do it. If Pussy can do this, I can do it. And this ain't no shot at Baton Rouge or Pussy. But New Orleans mine, if this country ass dude could do it, I could do it two times, three times better. That's the mindset of New Orleans. Now, everybody 
No, BG was a trend coming home. BG coming home, BG coming home, BG coming home, BG coming home. Anticipation that there will be a hot boy reunion. Not that BG going to be able to put out music and go to the top of the mountain. No, 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 no. Clout, dick riding, as Turk say. BG came home. You think he would have made an album with Boosie? No, 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 no. He made an album with Gucci. You see, why? Because Gucci have a bigger fan base on a worldwide, nationwide platform than Boosie. So he went for the bag. Not the dude who been repping his name, holding him down. You know, he went for the bag. Kicked back and double back and made a song with Boosie. Then throw shots at Lil Wayne on Finesse Two Time Record. Throw shots at Birdman. But didn't want to bite the hand that feed him when Wack 100 literally came into cash money defense. Now, peak play out. I say that to say all this. Dick riding. The definition of dick riding is when you think somebody going to be hot or at the moment they what everybody talking about, you have to be a part of that. That's the definition of dick riding. In New Orleans, dudes is good for that shit. Whatever hot, they want to be around that situation. You see, there was a time where Soldier Slim literally took over the streets of New Orleans with music. And BG found his way to Soldier Slim. Even though Slim was a part of No Limit and Slim had disc records, and was not even rocking with cash money like that. Juvenile linked up with Soldier Slim when Soldier was at that peak. That's what they mean by dick riding. People who jump on trends of a person to be a part of something because they don't want to be left out. Salute.